The media openly reports on it. Female security guard on duty raped by customer. CEO resigns after being charged with sexual harassment and not forgetting trending videos showing supervisors assaulting employees. These are just some of the shocking incidences the public knows about, as many go unreported. Yes, we must recognize that Namibia is not free from violence and harassment in the world of work, including gender-based violence. These are threats to human rights, to, equally, to equality and non-discrimination, and to the health and well-being of workers. Violence and harassment in the workplace has a negative impact on the reputations and productivity of institutions as well as the profitability of businesses. A new NW Secretary General says it has become a norm that graduates entering the job market are preyed upon. From the very first day when he or she applies, she will be taken conditionally. You must become first a girlfriend or somebody must test something before you get employed. The report revealed that 21% of the respondents indicated that they left their jobs because they were victims of violence and or harassment, while 16% of female respondents and 12% of male respondents indicated that they had been victims of violence or harassment on their way to or from work. Also, 3% of men and 2 out of 3 transgender respondents claimed that they were denied a job or promotion because they refused to sleep with the boss. Women are now entering the labor market in unprecedented numbers. Now this is going to bring change to the gender dynamics in the workplace. And I feel that Convention 190 is actually speaking to these changes that we should anticipate 